The Catholic Bishops Conference of the Dominican Republic has written a strong public letter demanding the Dominican government protest the personal and political conduct of openly gay U.S. Ambassador, James Wally Brewster, an LGBT advocate in their letter. The bishops complain of the deep concern and malaise caused among the population by the actions of the ambassador ever since his arrival in the country in 2013, especially through his gay advocacy and overt exhibition of his gay marriage, which is illegal in the country. Brewster served as the National LGBT Company Chair for the Democratic National Committee as well as sitting on the board of the Human Rights Campaign Fund, which calls itself the largest national lesbian, gay bisexual and transgender civil rights organization Brewster and his husband, Bob Sadowak, worked to raise money for Obama's 2012 election, after which the president named Brewster U.S. ambassador to the Dominican Republic in fall 2013. The bishops accuse Brewster of overstepping his functions by pushing the gay agenda, disparaging the customs of Dominican society, and violating both the state constitution and the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Mr. Brewster presents himself as a victim, they write, labeling all opinions contrary to his own as hate, while boasting the support of his government in his systematic violations of national and international laws. The prelates say that the present case is symptomatic of the ideological colonization that Pope Francis has protested about, which is so unhealthy for families. The ambassador and his partner present a family model to children that is incompatible with what is enshrined in the Constitution, they declare, which states that the family is established on the free decision of a man and a woman to contract marriage. They are trying to confuse our youth and children by presenting them with the distorted model of family, and disparaging in this way the authority of our laws, they state. The bishops claim that Brewster comes to children's school events parading Mr. Bob Sadowak as his husband, which has caused great distress among parents, who have the right to determine how their children will be educated and feel that these visits are an imposition of values contrary to what they are trying to instill in their children. In their letter, the bishops also accuse Brewster of suggesting that USAID will make money available for political candidates who support the LGBT cause, a proposal they find troubling. Offering money to finance candidates who are willing to promote their agenda is a violation of national sovereignty and its electoral laws and represents a serious act of blackmail towards national policy, they write. These and many other actions have been creating a climate of unrest and unease in a majority of the country because we are seeing meddling in the nation's culture and its internal affairs. It is increasingly difficult to accept this interference by the ambassador, the bishop state, referencing diplomatic norms of the Vienna Convention, which declares that foreign diplomats are obliged to respect the laws and regulations of the receiving state. They are also obliged not to interfere in the internal affairs of that state. We hasten to note that our rejection is not directed to the person of the ambassador and his partner, or his homosexual condition, which we respect. What we reject is the abuse of power in his way of acting, which is contrary to his competence as an ambassador and as we have said, violates domestic laws of the country and the international laws of diplomacy, they write.